in my standard good morning standard eight students in my last video i have explained about the enlargement of subject and extension of predicates today i am going to teach you objects of the predicate and more in this video so let's start now here you can see objects of the predicate a predicate may have a transitive verb in that case it requests an object to complete the sense of the sentence this object may be a noun a pronoun an adjective used as a noun a gerund and infinitive or a group of words that does work as a noun for example he caught a bird now used as a object here you see bird is a noun and it has been used as an object my mother knows him here you see pronoun used as object the shopkeeper helped the poor so it is a adjective used as object his brother does not know driving so here the gerund used as object sneha loves to dance infinitive used as object the plumber knows how to check the leakage group of words used as object so here you see that in the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so noun pronoun adjective gerund infinitive group of words are used as an object enlargement of the object the object of a predicate may have an enlargement this enlargement can be a noun an adjective a participle an infinitive or a group of words that does work as an adjective for example he called rehana's mother so enlargement is a noun you see rehana's it is a enlargement of the noun the customer purchased red apples enlargement is an adjective here you can see they caught the wandering dogs it is the enlargement as a participle now next come the girl had point to explain it is the enlargement is an infinitive the police arrested the people it is protesting against him it is the enlargement is a group of words now next come to the direct and indirect objects a predicate may consist of two objects direct object and indirect object the object that shows what is said to or given to a person or done for a person is called the direct object of the predicate the object that shows the person for whom something is said or done or to whom something is given is called the indirect object of the predicate examples of direct and indirect now examples of direct and indirect objects are the chairman presented the captain the cup is a direct cup indirect object captain the grandmother told us a story direct object is the story and indirect object is the us maria gave the teacher a flower direct object flower indirect object teacher now let's come to the complement of the object complement of the object of the predicate is the added information about the object for example the committee selected rajan as the captain the achievements made her proud here in the first sentence rajan is the object and the added information about the object as the captain is its complement similarly her is the object in the second sentence and the added information about the object proud is its complement 
So standard day students, now you have understood what I taught. More we will read from this chapter and we will do the exercise in my next video. So stay with me. Have a secure life. Thank you.